Welcome back to Wood Turning with Dick. Do you remember I promised you after the last glue up bowl of Zeracote that I had some larger boards that I want to put together and make into another bowl, glue up bowl, but bigger? Look at these gorgeous boards, these rolling hills. It'd be lovely to do some sort of a frame thing, you know, just running up the wall like that, about three or four or five of them in a picture frame. But that's a bit flat and boring, and it's just taking advantage of the grain in the wood. And some of these are just absolutely stunning. Little hills and things going on. A lot of it has got cracks. Some are a bit thinner. Look at this piece. That's um, It's got some issues going on with it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I can make a whole bunch of coasters. I know I said that last time. Let me quickly show you. Put them all together. Issues. Issues. And that's what I've got. Not big enough for one big bowl blank. And there's lots of cracks and splits I need to cut out. What I think I'll end up doing is cutting all these, taking all the bad bits out on the table saw, giving me some even sized boards. I can then arrange an order. My belt sander does a maximum of that depth. And I'm going to need the belt sander to make all this lovely and flat so I can glue it all together. But that's a reasonable size bowl blank. But I should use every single scrap I possibly can because this wood is just amazing. To the tables are. That's looking a bit better. Still a few splits and things in that are quite shallow and they will turn out. But I put all the thicker ones to the middle because essentially I should be able to put a chuck grip in the taller parts. Leaving the shorter parts around the edge because they're going to get turned round. So the underneath, whatever happens, the underneath is going to be the top of my bowl and this will be the bottom. So if I pop that underneath. Oh, it's heavy pop that under there hoping you can see that on the camera and I can mark up these to the edge move these two out of the way for the minute just concentrate on the taller ones if I put those right to the edge then I can mark these boards to the other side of the cardboard I've done where I can I've done it it really worked well last time to have the sat wood down the bottom and the sat wood at the top <laughs> genius it's about there. It doesn't have to be exact, but if I mark these across the top now individually, then I've got somewhere to cut to, going well so far, back in a mo. That is the remnants of this. Let's have a closer look at that one. I'll make the final decision on what's going where later. That's where my chuck grip's gonna go. That should turn out, that can possibly go there. And then it's just a case of making up the rest of it. So. I have got exactly 30 pieces of Zeracote of various lengths, as you can see, and they just about fit in my vise. Now it looks at the moment too long, too wide, but actually it's a perfect round bar some longer bits on this side and this side. I've got enough other pieces to make up a reasonable sized bowl, but I've got another idea. To make these pieces, or some of these pieces, part of this one. I'm a great fan of Van Gogh, Van Gogh, however you'd like to pronounce it, and his work, his oils, his work, ah, oh, just, it really takes me to a different place when I see his work. I recently got treated by Lenore to that Van Gogh experience up in London. Oh my word, that was so amazing. And this Zeracote, some of these pieces remind me of his style. Glorious. Well, that's all glued and ready to go. Um, as you can see from the dust, I've been doing some more sanding. And that's these. I have sanded these. Some are a lot prettier than others. See what I was saying about the Van Gogh? That's just lovely. Now, these are getting glued together. And this is intended for an addition to the bowl. You'll see. Keep watching. There she is mounted on the lathe. I've got an idea of the shape that I want in my mind already. Let's um, let's get it round and let's have another look at it. Here goes. 
That's not too bad at 500 RPM. Oh, pretty. Got a hella gap there. And I'm hoping by the time, time the rest of this is turned down that that's gone. Otherwise, I've got some gluing to do. I've got a ways to go yet, though. <laughs> Look at this lovely white, yellowy kind of white. Ah, oh, man. Now, what size chuck grip can I get away with? Because of the weight of this, I think I want quite a big chuck grip on it. I was going to go for something about this size, but in reality, I'd be much more sensible going with something a little bit wider. So this is bit is a little bit proud at the moment. If I take that down to flush, I can squeeze another piece of wood in there. Now, did I or did I not say something about saving as much wood as possible? I bolt that on there, and I put that on there. Then I can just fit my larger jaws onto the bottom of this bowl. <laughs> Genius. Who needs wood glue when you've got super glue? Bit of activator, give it a minute for the activator to dry and do its thing. And we can carry on turning. And just like that, we've got a full chuck grip that will hold nicely. Back to more shaping. I'm gonna disappear now and do some gluing and some sanding. I'm gonna sand up to about here after I've glued some of these larger gaps, well, a lot, all of these gaps. Now, what am I gonna fill it with? Super glue and the other piece of this, which I'll just make some dust with. So it's exactly the same color as this. That's my favourite view at the moment. That's just glorious. I'm also very, very pleased with this shape. Uh, There's a gradual curve here, petering out to change of direction as it swoops up. Happy days. What I'm less impressed by is my glue up job. I've recovered most joins, most all joins. There's a few that aren't great, but are passable. I love this whole confused pattern in the side here. <laughs> it's just mental, look at it. And there's the other confused side, as I'm going to call it. Well, this is going to be fun. I forgot to put the V in the edge. Yeah, Lenore would have shot me. What was your gilded? So let's put some sander sealer on this. Finished at the moment to 320 grit. Sapwood is a yellowy color. It's not the sander sealer that's going on there that's turning it yellow. Meanwhile, we have this. At least one third of this. You saw me cutting it up earlier. 
what could I possibly be making with this? Although if the thumbnail picture is the same as the finished thing, then you know exactly what I'm making. Almost round, just a couple of little bits there. Amazing what you can do with bowl gouge, isn't it? I need to make this the same length as it is round. I love sandpaper. There we go. Bit of sand of sealer over that. Lovely, look at that. A little bit of sat wood just sat in the middle there. A big bit there. All right. Now, yes, it doesn't look round again. It's a bit of an optical illusion. This end is kind of come down by a few mil yet because I need to take that off with the belt sander. That end staying on there, just going to clean that bit off where you can see that line. Okay time to make a point let's uh shape this down to a point without going through the bottom in my mind it's transforming the look already straight away it's a little bit daunting thinking oh i've got no method of putting it back on the lathe now i'm done this is my uh final choice and that is it some sanding required and a little bit of filling and I'll try and keep this as pointy as i can quite like that you know that's gonna work i think now my balls they're not exactly balls they're a little bit more like melons they're slightly longer than they are wide i now need to work out whereabouts i want to put these um so i can mark this and then drill it if i have these nearing the middle i'm gonna try and envisage it without these on here i do have three of them not just a pair of balls or melons or if i have them straight in the bottom I turn them around so you can visualize. I'm going to put it the way of the grain, like this. And then one, two, three around the back there. I only got two hands, so I can't show you all three at once. How I originally sketched out this, this design, this piece, was to have the balls a lot further out. Make it into a far more arty piece. And that would mean the direction of these, of the flowing yellowy white lines would be more at 45 degrees, leaving that nice point all exposed and in the middle, rather than being all tucked behind these things, which are too big a feet for what they are. So out here, I think it's got to be. It's what I thought originally. This is what I wanted to do originally. So yeah, no hell. Do you know what? I'm doing it. I, I'm, 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 I'm doing the outside. Yep, they also need the sand sealer taken off and waxed. All right, I got the mark all the way around. It's going to get that pencil line to get taken out when I'm doing the last of the 400 sanding as I finish this piece off. So not going to drill the holes just yet, but I am going to mark them for drilling because I'm going to sand all this first. And the final thing will be the drilling where to put them. That's the next question. This is my proudest side that I really like the look of. I think I'm going to have the larger whites on the outside opposite this. That's a good starting point. So exactly opposite. So just visually between these, come down here to this line. The decision has been made. That is where that's going. Right, now I need to work out where the others go. I'll come back to you when I've got it on the thingy over there that makes holes. Uh, draw stand and hopefully not go all the way through. All right, when I say this has taken a while to rig up, it's taken a while to rig up. I have, I think, Got it. I've not drilled yet. I've not set a depth on this. I don't want to go through my bowl, but I do want to go deep enough to get those little feet glued in. I've got something to push against this way and this way. That's all clamped in beautifully. If I put pressure on there, it's not moving the bowl. Oh, this is all lined up. Just check that again. It's as lined up as it can be. All right, do you know what? I'm just going to do it. All right. 
Hey guys. No, no, no. I need to check again. Is everything tight? Yes. 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 Okay. Here it goes. Oh, okay. I'm not making this up. This is as nervous as I am. I'm just going to carefully take this out. Check the inside. Oh, yes. Hasn't gone through. Jackpot, baby. Three beautifully drilled holes at even locations. And let's see if that goes in there. Oh, you know, it's worked. Now, that looks really bulbous at the moment, doesn't it? It looks like, oh my, what are you doing? But just bear with. Do I show you yet? Do you know what? I'm going to finish. I'm going to sound, take the sound of cedar off that. I'm going to polish it up. I'm going to make sure these fit nicely. Then I'm going to do the, no. Do you know what? I'm going to present this to Lenore. Make her close her eyes and take my bowl by the balls. Hey, Lenore. Yes, brother. Hey, Lenore. Yes, Jack. Hey, Lenore. Yes, sexy pants. <laughs> that one, no? I can't use that. <sighs> this is going to go all, all, all evening, isn't it? <laughs> fine, fine. You know that bowl that I've been, been working on? I knew you were making a bowl, yes. Right. Well, close your eyes, and I'm going to put it in your hands, and I want you to feel it. Oh, and... I've had you tell me this before. I don't know if I trust this. <laughs> okay. So, right, can you close your eyes for me, please? Okay. And keep them shut until I put said thing in said hands. They are shut. Do you know what? Actually, rather than... It's quite a difficult thing to hold. Okay. So I'm going to plonk it over the side here. Okay. Give me your hands. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place them on. Mm -hmm. You haven't got any rings on. That's good. I'm going to place them on the bowl. Mm -hmm. And I want you to explore the bowl with your hands. I'm assuming it's going to be bowl-shaped. Yes, but tell me what you find and describe it as you go, and I'll tell you when you can open your eyes. Okay. Is this going to be kinky? No. Oh, that's a pity. Right, tell me what you find. <sighs> you said it wasn't going to be kinky. But it's just my balls. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling balls. Yeah? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm feeling large, firm balls. <laughs> This is this video. Two is large firm balls. <laughs> this was rapidly getting X-rated, but carry on. It's not quite X-rated yet. Um, yeah, rim, nice. Oh, very nice, smooth finish. It feels like it's a fusion. I can feel some joints. Mm -hmm. It's got a very small rim to gild, I assume. Feel carefully underneath. I'm hoping there's more balls. Can there be more balls? Yes, there's three oh, balls. Oh, there's more ball. There's balls, and there's a pointy bit. There's a pointy bit. Yes. Okay. What well, woods is it? You may open your eyes. Well, tell me what woods it is first. The Ciracote. All of it, really? It's very pretty. Lovely use of the sapwood, really. Indeed, I'm glad you like it. Now, will you get on and please uh, gild my bowl with balls? No. Why? Because you told me to. Oh, yeah. fine. I'll leave you to it. I will gild it when I choose to. Well, you're going to scare my viewers. <laughs> you can edit that out. Some would argue it's got a little bit of a wide stance and it doesn't quite follow the lines of the bowl. But I think it's a kind of a, a piece that doesn't need that. Oh, it's just wonderful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. See you again soon. Thanks for watching.